Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Stockholm to go and stay in that. That is a 747 jumbo jet. It's a real plane, it's been around the world and it's now been turned into a hotel. But tonight I am your captain. I think I'm the only person staying in the hotel. We'll see if we can see any more people in there. I'm staying actually where the captain would fly the plane. I've also got a VIP section. This hotel is crazy. Let's go and check it out. Come on. I don't know if the camera does it justice, just how big this plane is. If you've ever been up close to a 747, wow. So reception is just up the top there, but uh, before I go and check out my room, I just wanted to walk around the plane. It's just crazy. You can even stay in the engine room. Now these are like little capsule kind of rooms. I don't think there's anybody in there at the moment, but there's, a, there's another one over there. As you can see, they haven't modified it in any way. It is still the same size as the original. Look! At the size of the wing. I don't think I've ever been under an aircraft before. What have you got to do? You've got to kick the tyres, haven't you? I mean, everything is real about this plane. Nothing about it is fake. And you are actually staying on the airport here in Stockholm, Sweden. Well, that literally just on the edge. I mean, you can see some other aircraft over there. It even comes with the little baggage buggies. In fact, can I get in this? Will anybody mind? Pretend to be working at an airport. This is the closest thing you're going to get to it. Look, handbrake and everything. Not quite sure what happened to the window. Look at this right at the back of the jumbo jet. I mean, it's, I mean, it's breathtaking. It's insane. And hey, for kids, there's a swing. <laughs> you can see Alejandro Airport just there, here in Stockholm. I'm not over exaggerating when I say I think I might be the only person staying in here tonight. We'll have a look a little bit later, we'll come back out here when it's dark to see if there's any lights on. I just can't get over these engines. Look, there's even little windows out the back. I wonder if these are well insulated. Oh, I hope no one's in there. And just coming round to the front of the aeroplane now. This has been open a few years. I've always wanted to come here and I was thinking to myself this will probably shut down by the time I get a chance to come but yeah it is still open. Look at that the front wheels. Mental. Let's go up to reception. Now this also includes breakfast which I'm excited about. Get a better view of the, the wing here. I also have a personal little gantry as well. So I've got a code to get in. Hang on a second. I'm going out on the wing. This is crazy. Yeah, it does need a little bit of a paint job. There's, there's some benches out here where you could go in and sit and have a drink in the summer. But I'm walking out on a 747 wing. This is just crazy. There's not many people that can say they've stood on a 747 wing. It's amazing actually how big the wingspan is. Here I am, look, right on the tip of this wing, of this 747. Right, let's head in and see what it's like inside because there's a, there's a cafeteria in here I've also got my own bedroom in the cockpit. I've got a shower, ensuite, and also a little private VIP area too. You can actually see all photos of this aeroplane as you go up on the lift. All right, I need a code to get in. Obviously, I'm not gonna share this code on camera. I always knock on aircraft as I go in. Let's head in. Straight away, look. Got some merch. If you wanted to buy some t-shirts, cups, or some old safety cards from this airline. What's through here? Is this just like office? Oh, 
Hang on. Wow, this is the cafeteria. So apparently from 3 a.m. you can come in here and get breakfast. Are these locked up? Oh my God, they're not. Does that mean this is available? I could have it now. It's already laid out for me. Choice of cereals, tea. Hope this works. Does this work? Yeah, it does work. Look at that. I've got tea, cereal, a few sandwiches. Hey, am I seeing things? Ah, it's padlocked. It says some beer in there. Breakfast is served from 3 a.m. till 10 a.m. But look at that, you can see all the details of the old aircraft, where it's been. The history of the airplane is truly amazing. Once owned by Singapore Airlines, Pan Am. Look, all through the different decades. Look at these little seats. Isn't that amazing? So you can sit in here, look, and you can even take in the view of the sunset here in Sweden. And also, bearing in mind what this must have been like back in the day when people would have been sitting in the first class area. Look, some of the original seats. Would have these been first class or I guess now premium economy? Yes, in fact, actually very much like premium economy. I think I flew on Virgin once and it was very similar to this premium economy. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Jumbo Hotel. This is the reception. So if you have any problems, you literally just call them. So these are some basic cabins down here. I don't think there's anybody else staying in this hotel right now. All oh, the lights are coming on. Look at this. You can actually see the photos. That was the front cabin where I just was when it was literally being decked out and changed into a hotel. So it's really amazing to see all of this seeing how it was all laid out. It's a bag drop room look, where the emergency exit is. This is kind of spooky. I can't be the only person in here. I really do feel like I'm the only person staying in this hotel tonight. I can't be, surely. But it is January. We're in Sweden. Let's do a test. Hello? Hello? That is pretty silent and nobody's answering me. What's up here? Mm, an ironing board. And all of these are more toilets and showers. There's like, there's one there. There's another one. And another one. All with towels ready to go. Just think these are still the original size windows. You can imagine literally just sitting here and looking out your window as you're taking off. Crazy. What's through here? All oh, right, fire exit, I think. Look at the door. It is well heated. Because you might think, look, you can actually see the outside of the cabin, crazy. You would think it's probably not very warm in here, but it really is. So I've gone up the whole length of the jumbo jet. See, right now, it doesn't feel like you're in a jumbo jet, does it? You're just in a normal corridor. I can't get into any of these rooms to show you what they're like, but they're like a, a basically just a very small double room. But tonight, this is where I'm staying, up here. This is the most expensive room in the place. And it is literally just for people that have reserved the cockpit suite. Okay, tight up here. Welcome, upper deck first class. Oh, opens. That's a bad idea. It actually opens outwards rather than inwards. So, I'm considering this is pretty tight anyway. So this is all for me then. 
I will show you into the first class lounge in just a moment. There is the main cockpit and my bedroom. This is a little VIP balcony with some deck chairs. <laughs> and literally that is where I am sleeping tonight, in there. This is crazy. Just a little bit worried about security because anyone could just come up here, right? Except there's a, oh no. I just realized this is shut from the inside. I'm gonna have to go back downstairs again, hang on. That'd be a bad idea if I forgot the code. And look at that, from 2005, just before it was completely changed, there is the original cockpit. Here it is, been turned into a bedroom. This is crazy. It is a double bed as well. I'll do the bed test in a minute. What's that, a light? I've got another one over here. And I don't know whether you can actually sit in the front. Let's go and have a look, hang on. I guess I'd have to climb over the bed in order to do it. Wow, as I open up the curtains, I need a torch, hang on. That is crazy. And there's also, there's also a TV up there so I can actually lay in bed and watch TV, although it's facing the wrong way. It's a shame that the TV's not on that wall really, but look at all these buttons. Can I press them? This is your captain speaking. Make sure you strap yourself in. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Wow, this is just like a, a childhood dream, being in a cockpit and no one telling you that you can't touch anything. I think I know what I'm doing here. So with the engines, is that like the parking or something? I don't know, and then accelerate. I don't really know what I'm doing. Look, leave the flaps. Look at that, that works as well. You can actually press all the buttons and you won't get told off. I am a little bit worried, so I'm actually gonna put that back in the, uh, in the normal position. But wow, look at this, this moves and everything. You can imagine what the pilots must have seen and the travels this plane has been on. Mental, and it's actually so high off the ground as well. Look at that, some of the original signage is still up here as well. And as I pan around, this is probably would have uh, been where the other pilots would have sat doing the controls. This is the suite from this angle. We'll go and check out the bathroom in a minute. But it is heated, look, there's radiators either side, keeping it nice and toasty. And all the displays have been taken out. These are all kind of just like coloured photos. Although some of these still work. There's still some switches here. And they still have the pedals and the trim. Look, I know my stuff. Shame they've taken the seats out because that would have been nice, but, but for now I just have to sit on my pillow. This is just crazy. I am flying my own aircraft. I am the captain tonight. I feel sorry for everyone who's on board. Let's close the curtains. So it's nice and cozy. And let's go and check out the bathroom. I can get round, this is tight. As I shut my door, this is very cozy and very quiet. Right, let's go and check out my ensuite. No way there's a shower in here. What the heck? Pretty big size mirror with the light as well. So I guess this is like a, a wet room, huge sink. They've even got a little window just out there. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Good shower head, like to check it out. So it's like a wet room, but what a nice little ensuite I've got. This is obviously the only room in the hotel that has got the ensuite bathroom. But also, as I come out here, this bit is also amazing. Now this is just for people that are staying in the cockpit. You get exclusive access to the first class lounge. Clipper bell of the sky. Look, this is what it used to look like. And the original seats are still here. This is crazy. So all this is complimentary. And it's look where all the food used to be served. In fact, I've got some complimentary beer. 
and then, with a beer cap as well, got myself a kettle. I've got an espresso coffee machine, a couple of glasses on my own little bar. How cool is this? And if I've got friends here, I can invite them up here to have a seat. There's also a huge TV. This, this is just for me. Look at that, the old signs. No smoking, fasten seatbelt. This is absolutely insane. Look at that. Where the, where the tables come out to have your dinner. Oh my God, and I've just realized whoever's been up here recently has, uh, has been shopping in Primark because there's a Primark sticker. There's even still old bits of cigarette ash in these little cigarette trays. Oh wow, these do come out. Wow, this is comfy. You got your little audio section as well where you could listen to your favorite music or, or video. Crazy, the lights are still here and even the little air conditioning vents and the blinds as well. There's lots of books on uh, aviation down here as well. I can relax watching TV oh, with my feet up. By the way, if you're liking this video, do give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Yeah, I've got TV, I've got tea, coffee, wine, beer. Well, I haven't got wine, I've got beer. Um, I'm probably just gonna have a shower um, and retire for the evening. And it's really warm up here. I don't know how I can control the heat but it's like really, really warm. So I think I might struggle um, in that bed tonight. So I just had a shower. It took a while for the hot water to come through. And then eventually when I did have the shower, well, it was difficult to kind of get washed properly because it was just a trickle more than a proper, you know, shower. So I kind of had to take it off and just move it all around me. Anyway, in bed, the bed's interesting because as you look around the bed, as you take some of the covers off, um, you notice that the bed is also being held up by some books, which I thought was an interesting touch. It is very comfy. You really do sink into it. It's two single beds pushed together and there's some kind of like strip or divider in the middle that keeps moving and you sink into it. Certainly is interesting looking at it from this angle. It's quite cozy actually except that's a little bit concerning, all that metal. And I can certainly feel a draft from the back. But then I guess I can't moan, because I'm sleeping in a cockpit, right? I'll let you know how well the sleep goes in the morning. No, no. Morning, well, I have to say, that was the best night's sleep I've ever had. I would say in an aircraft, but anywhere, that bed, seriously, is just super soft and super comfy. Yes, it's it's a very weird setup, but wow, super comfy. I've got to get down these stairs now. Bags are tight. It just me for breakfast then. Well, I tell you what, this plane's history is totally amazing, and. Um, if you look at some of the photos around that what different companies have used it, Pan Am, Singapore Airlines, even been used by the president and NASA. It's absolutely crazy. I love these mugs as well. Weird, no handle. Fortunately, I can't get a cup of tea because the hot water thing doesn't seem to be working at the minute. I think it's just warming up. If you ever come here and stay, work your way up because you can stay in the engine rooms, you can stay in the wheelhouse, which actually has an ensuite as well, or one of the many other bedrooms, and then work your way up. I think if I came back here again, I'd have to go back up there. And the best night's sleep I think I've ever had. If you like the video, please make sure you do give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. I'll see you next time.